All right, guys, you're about to watch the funniest video you will ever see today. You know me, now. my name is Forever. I'm very funny. Whatever I give to you, it's funny. So watch and enjoy. <laughs> Good evening. Like, do you know that we don't know how much the internet has made us lazy these days? We are too lazy now. Like, me and my cousin, eh, we remembered one song, one very old song. We did not know the title of the song, but we remembered, like, the lyrics. And we typed the lyrics, eh? on the internet, and this thing brought the full lines of this Two-Faced song. And I was like, what? See complete lyrics online, no? Because many of us here, we remember when the only time you could find lyrics to a song was inside a song book. That and they would put um, R. Kelly in front, and everybody that time used to be, every Zulezu, everybody in front of the song book. And it's anything they write for you there that you have to take. Because you don't know what they put there. That time, ladies, if you... To have a girlfriend in secondary school that time, you must be able to sing one foreign song. And it's always Westlife. An empty street, an empty house, a hole inside my heart. That time, people would write nonsense. Igbo boys would put Igbo inside the translation. Well, I saw one song book that time. An empty street, an empty house, one go inside my heart. I was like, one go? <laughs> but Westlife can't be speaking Igbo now. You'll be, be confusing you. You'll be like, but well, West's life can't be from the East. It's not geographically possible. <laughs> and, and that time, you see guys memorizing songbook like Bible verses. So, um, um, move your body like a belly dancer. Hey, touch. And some boys are not be feeling fly, reason to ask girls out. Name to street. Name to not be licking leaves. We doing a capella in class. Yeah, and that was the time I realized that mo most times, eh, the reason why we do stuff as guys is because of ladies. We're always trying to win girls' hearts. And that's the issue. We've lacked priorities as guys. Everything we do, we want to win babes' hearts. That's why in this country, most of our leaders are men. And that's why they're messing us up now. I'm telling you. You know, in this country, eh, when other countries are moving forward, Nigerian police eh, is focusing on improving the well-being of the dogs. Nigerian police dogs. I don't know if you get dogs or because... See, if it's an American police dog, American police dog, they know their job. There's this dog recently in the news that saved a police officer. This dog jumped and took a bullet for a police officer and they rushed this dog to the operating room. Dog. Police dog. The dog came outside feeling fly. They increased the dog's rank and put the dog in a house. I'm not joking. Google it. The dog was barking during the press conference. Rough. Rough. They put colors everywhere. The county head was now saying... This is what every other person should emulate. Everybody should be like Dog Bruno. <laughs> you know, and Nigerians want to copy. You see, I don't know. <laughs> Have you seen police dog in Ijaye before? Ijaye is after Yanopaja. Have you seen police? There's one police dog there. They call it Officer Ranger. Officer Ranger is supposed to be a German shepherd. But suffering has taken the German away. What is just left is shepherd. If you give Officer Ranger grass, Officer Ranger will eat grass. And, and, and it has a bad eye like this and a limp. So the eyes is bad and one limp. He used to walk like this, Officer Ranger. He got that beat in there. The day he went to drag Suya from August table. Police beat nonsense out of their own dog. Even Officer Ranger got to know that police is not really, really your friend. Very weird though, and while we are backward in this country, eh, and we've not taken note of all this um, human welfareism, let me tell you, China is going to be launching its first artificial moon in 2020. Check it out, that moon is going to like, be hovering like 50 and 500 kilometers above the ground, and it's supposed to replace street lights, so that when they have natural disasters, they will shift the moon in the sky to shine lights for people that have been attacked. You know, and one nonsense um, politician that was campaigning, some weeks back, he got carried away and was saying, this thing is something Nigeria should emulate in my area. Oh, that we, we, we are strong enough, we have the financial capability, we can do this, we can hang our moon, we can... Everybody was just looking at the girl like this. Ah, which of the Nigeria is this one talking about? Oh? You want to hang moon? You want to hang moon in a country where ordinary, our electric poles, nepa poles, they can't stand properly in the ground. All of them, they look like they're greeting the elders. All of them are like this. All the... <laughs> <laughs> You'll be driving in the middle of the road. you see two Nepal poles that look like they're gossiping. They'll be half a waiting now on my cook. A soup don't burn. I'll be seeing the picking head. You have kind of nonsense. 
<laughs> it's very weird now. And, and funny enough, eh, you can't hang moon in a country where you know we launched our satellite in this country, Nige Comsat. We launched it into space and it got misplaced. I'm not joking, you know. It left space. And do you know what this? The minister now said no, that it did not get lost, though, that it actually left its orbit. He could not call it orbit, though. he said he left something that is supposed to hold it. So we had to park our satellite like a car. I'm telling the truth, though. Nigeria satellite is in space now, just hanging there, floating like a car. So sometimes people that are dead in this country, they are going to the sky, say, Lord, accept our soul. As they are floating like this, something just bam. Ah, what's this? Nigeria comes out. Ah, Lord. This country is useless, even in space. <laughs> That's the kind of nonsense you have. And it's because we don't prioritize in this country. And I, and I think that's why we're going to a juncture eh, where women deserve to be in charge. Stop hiding in the dark. Come outside. Rule us. You are very good at this thing. But the only worry is that the kind of issues that women used to have is quite different. For example, if a guy walks into this place right now and he sees another guy putting on the same dress with him, him and that guy will most likely become friends. It will be like, ah, uh-uh, bro, what are you feeling, right? You're wearing the same, man, why did you get yours? Now I'll be like, when I went to the UK, UK, ah, my own is fake, my own is fake. You're not big boy. You know, that's guys. They just, what's up now? Let's catch up. But you, bring your babe or your partner, a lady. Now, the worst part is, when a lady is putting on the same dress with another lady in the same place here, the worst part is when you as the guy were the first person to notice it. And you tap her, hey, baby, is that on your gown that she's wearing? The first thing you hear is, what gown? What? No, 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 no. What gown now? Is it everybody? They say if you must wear gown, you must have waist. You, you say you don't have waist. You don't have hips. You want to wear gown. Now you look like pajamas on your body. I'm telling you. It's not the same gown this girl is wearing with me now. How can you wear lemon, lemon gown on green shoe? Wear no lemon grass. What's all this nonsense now? No, 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 baby, stop all this nonsense. I can't take it from you. She, I, her hair is even fake self. Even the, even the, the fingernails is chrome. It's about to use acrylic. You're like, ah, where did you see that one between now and then? <laughs> and I've noticed that Lagos, eh, people don't know how much you support entertainment. Though. I'm telling you, until you live here and go to other states, somebody was watching David Do, paid 50k to watch David Do, and she could not see David Do clearly. 50k, she was now tapping me, hey, bro, is that David Do coming from the sky? I said, that's Daddy Shokyo. You pay 50k, you cannot see David Do. Hey, in Benin, go there. If anybody pays 50k for you, forget it. You people will perform together. And when you are done, you serve him small chops. Because that's houseboy job you've taken, you know. In Lagos, we are used to some TV stations, all these MITV, Galaxy. We say, ah, these stations are outdated. Let them become a radio station, Abi. Go to Benin. They have one popular channel. They call it EBS. It's the official burial TV station of Edo State. They advertise burials like that. They are happy that you are dead. You'll be watching TV. The next thing you hear is, this world is not my own. I have just... I go for it. I go for it. How many times I call you? Who you leave 14 children for? Now me, you they leave hanging, Abi. Go, go punish you. Where you they sleep, you not go rest where. Your father, you not go die. You not go, you be wait, what? You not, you not end it as if they are, they, they, they did not say anything. Now here, announced by your second wife, Mama or Nome. You're like, did you not hear what this guy just said? Around the world, then, normally, when people are doing this thing, lying in states, when they bury somebody, people go there and say nice stuff. You throw flowers into the coffin for the last time. You know, they just put the person, you throw flowers. Oh, we miss you. Abacha was a nice man. Lying. You lie. Maybe that's why it's called lying in states. You go there, you lie. Oh, we miss you. But, but you see, in Benin, reverse is the case. They will take from the corpse. You see somebody walking in Benin. This is the coffin. You see somebody walking like this. Ah, ah. Who be this one? Hey. What's that way? Now you fat like this. <laughs> when you did this life, you've been seen, no? You feel like I say to die, this sweet person. You to die. Or someone you wear a suit. You wear a suit. As he's shouting, you wear a suit. He will notice that someone is putting on a wristwatch. That way he will not start complaining. <laughs> or someone, this is a dead person. No? You wear a wristwatch. Ooh. Hey, ooh. Why you go give her a wristwatch now? No, why you go give her a wristwatch? When you know, say in time, don't finish. Think calm now. Think calm. Then this guy will want to take the wristwatch from the corpse. And it's like the corpse used to know. The hand will now become very stiff. 
you now see somebody dragging wristwatch with a dead person. You're mad. Oh, oh, oh. Now me, you're tight hand for. you strong like this. Now you know survive malaria, Abby. you did crazy. Your father, I'll go slap you, die again. My name is O.V. Godwin. You guys have been amazing. I've given you a video that made you laugh. All I need for you to do right now is to click subscribe and so that whenever I post new videos, you'll be the first to know that there is a new funny video for you to laugh today. Yeah.